we're just going to see if we can't get the motor mounted and get this mounted up onto the uh, lathe. We saw we shortened this plate up. I took it while I had it. I was checking belt lengths and everything, and I had a few belts in stock here. Um, and I end up and did find a belt that was super tight with it bolted down on here. So what I did is I took the time, I set the, the top plate up on the milling table, and I just slotted out the mounting holes. So I added about a, oh, a little over a half an inch in each one. And, uh, you know, they were torch cut back down in here before, and these were drilled. So like I say, we just measured them out, extended them out to about a half an inch adjustment. So that should give us enough adjustment. So I've already had the motor set on here at one point, so it's uh, still all bolted up satisfactorily, I think, or chained up. So we're just gonna shift her over here and get her set in place. I was originally going to mount the over or mount the upper assembly in the gearbox and then put the motor on top. I think I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try and balance everything, get it bolted together, and um, just set it up there as a unit. So I'm pretty much just gonna let the camera run. I'm not gonna not gonna give you too much commentary and I may lose the microphone entirely and, and just let this run because I wanna concentrate on getting them mounted up there and not dropping it on me or having the whole assembly hit the ground and explode itself or something like that. So, let's see if we can't get this mounted and move forward. I've got um, belt lacing ordered. It'll be here, it'll take a few days, but it's ordered and on the way. So we should have it rolling in. I had uh, made a little eBay purchase and I bought a clipper belt lacer just a little four or four and a half inch, whatever they are, which is, I think, big enough for all of my needs. But, uh, and I'll show it when we get ready to lace these belts. Along with it, it was part of a package deal that had another no-name belt lacer on there. And uh, it's been repaired. It's kind of a, kind of a, um, I won't say Rube Goldberg because I think actually it's a pretty good lacer. It looks like it's designed to be set up in a in a press rather than in a vise. And uh, I think it might be a, a really good lacer. At some point I'll probably clean it up and see what it actually looks like and test it out. But I see no reason it wouldn't work. A little bit a little bit different design. Like I say, it looks like it fits in a in a uh, either a Arbor press or just a standard H style press and looks to be a fairly decent unit. But anyway, let's see if we can't get this mounted up here. Now I didn't get real excited about the about the cable assembly on this overarm. It's not still not functional because I thought I didn't want to spend the time. I just want to get it up there and get it mounted and run it. Um, and I've said a couple of times that I wanted to find out if it was going to run and if it was worth doing anything with. Uh, the decision had already been made. If you hadn't figured it out that, yes, something will be done with it, I am going to go ahead and, and work this machine quite a bit as we, when we get to it. But it's not the, it's not the project for right now. So um, I shouldn't be saying if we work on it because I know we're going to. So. That's why I've probably taken time to do a few things already that maybe I probably shouldn't have taken the time to do yet, but that's the way it is. So.
adjusts our belt tension. We'll probably have to put a handle on this end. There may have been something there to start with, I don't remember. But we definitely need some lube on there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, got to make some adjustments to that pulley up there, or that belt. I'm going to go ahead and clean up these cherry pickers and stuff, get them out of the way, and then we'll come back and see if we can't get the upper uh, pulleys mounted, and uh, then start seeing about electrical stuff. Well, just a little bit of hand held here. We have our overarm set up and mounted. And got a couple of issues with it yet. Actually, I've I've got it almost ready to run. I've got to go and get a little Romex so I can wire the switch in. And we've got to run main power to it and the and then connect into the starter box again. So a couple of little issues. Up here on the shifter, why where it shifts on back up here, there was three holes in the linkage. And I thought I had it set right. And I did make a change to it, but it's not affecting what the issue is, and that's this linkage right here interfering with the belt when we try and when we try and shift it. So now that I've got a little better understanding, I'm going to have to do a little work to that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do to that. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to just shift that linkage into forward, you know, so I've got a forward and reverse off my lever here, and uh, leave it at that for right now. But Anyway, that's where we're at. I've got clipper lacing on the way for the belt, and I will probably get it wired in today, and um, and get it, you know, probably get the electrical wired in today, and just run it. You know, I'm kind of anxious to have it running, and then I'm about done with it for right now. I've got lacing coming for the belt, and it's going to set right in here like this. So it uh, it looks pretty good. I don't have an issue there. That I'm going to lace up this old belt for right now and just utilize it. I sprayed everything down with WD-40 pretty good, although I need to hit the chuck that's on there. Make sure it's loosened up. Got the carriage pretty well loose, um, and it is definitely loose, but um, it moves, it traverses pretty well. The uh, cross feed's stiff, but I've got it to where it's, it's functional. The compound is still really sticky, but I've got a little bit of movement out of it. You know, I'm going to have to loosen it up and we'll disassemble everything. Everything's very well worn. There's the tailstock for it. At least I've got all the parts back here and and uh, in one place. So there's the tailstock, and it's pretty well loose. Got a the steady rest for it, and we've got a forge out chuck down there. And then I've got some gearing, and part of it's in pretty decent shape. There's I noticed at least one of them's got a couple of teeth whacked out of it. So they'll be. I'm sure those are just going to be a repair when we get that far. But uh, anyway, I'm about done with this for now. Like I say, I'll probably get it wired up and we'll get it fired up today. And I'll show you that, but I wanted to, I wanted to run by this real quick while I, before the sun really got to beating down on it and washed it all out. So anyway, I'll uh, probably give you a couple little shots of it running and then we'll edit this video and get it out to you. And this is all we're gonna do on this for right now once we get that far. Once we get that part done, why we're going to tuck it away out of the way and move on to other projects like that ugly little Sheldon sitting there. Okay, well this is actually a little bit anticlimactic here. Um, just because I've gotten as far as I can right now. Now once the, once the belt's installed, it'll set at that angle right there, although I have some adjustment. So it depends on how well I, how good a job I do lacing the belt, cutting up the length and everything. I've got a new piece of 3-8 shielding to run from the box around and back down here into the box. I don't have enough wire yet to, to uh, do it. So I just got everything temporarily put together, just enough to where I can run it. Um, everything's hooked up, everything's wired. I just got a plug-in on it, which is just a plug I had here. And I've got to do something with the linkage up there next. So I've got to work on the linkage for the shifter and the wiring. I've got to tidy it up a little bit yet. And then I'm pretty much done for this for right now. So as soon as the lacing gets here, we'll finish up a, one more video on this and then set it out of the way and cover it up and do. But anyway, I thought you'd like to hear it run. So this is in, which would be second gear in the car transmission. And 
that's the way it runs. Now I have not, um, I haven't lubed anything up other than to refill the transmission with gear oil. Um, these bearings, I'm sure, could use a little bit of lube on them. Although, all in all, I'm not unhappy with it. You know, I'm using the old belts from the from the transmission to this pulley here. And they could use to be replaced, but got everything pretty well aligned. I had to reset the pulley up on the motor and get it lined out. But at least now we can disassemble it. And when I do get ready to work stuff, I'll, I will do some sort of a shifter here. Like I say, there's second gear. And I don't know how much I'll actually use this for shifting, but there's second gear. If we shift it on up into... I believe that's third gear there. Yeah, that's third there. So that's probably actually running too fast for anything that this lathe is gonna wanna run in. And I think second gear is probably gonna be the one. Um, I believe that's first there. Nope, that's reverse. There's our reverse gear. Got a wobbly pulley out there. What is that? That's neutral. And this will be first. So just looking at it and guessing, I'm going to guess I'm going to run it in first and second. And that's primarily the way I'll set the gearbox up. So I'll redo the lever that comes down. So one way's forward and the other way's reverse. And that's uh, what, we'll, what we'll end up with. So hopefully you found that a little bit interesting. I'm uh, glad to have it back assembled again and at least somewhat running. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. And hopefully you found this a little bit intriguing, if nothing else and uh, like it, share it, all that other good stuff. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.